Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Forex day trade setups for today. So starting off with Euro USD, and uh, for all the intents and purposes, we are still in the sideways range. We do have a trend line break here, and uh, we have sort of we sort of rejected levels to the, to the upside yesterday. But when we get down to the hour, you'll have a look at uh, price action yesterday. Uh, pretty wild. So um, big moves up, big moves down, and we have for all intent purposes, got a crossover on the moving averages and they are pointing to the upside with a trend line break. So well worth paying attention to this. I don't like the diversions. Well, it's not really diversions, but the oscillators are all over the place. And you've got a um, higher low and a lower high. So in other words, you have a triangle consolidation pattern. So question is if we can hold this. So 113.243 is a level to watch today. May very well be a, a break above this and a continuation to the upside. Or you're going to see it fall back into this range and uh, sort of hover around here. So uh, I'm kind of uh, sitting on hands at the moment. I don't think I want to get involved in this today. Uh, Friday as well. So uh, it's been pretty volatile the last couple of days. And it's going to get more volatile as we get closer to Christmas. So um, be careful. I think you know, there are going to be opportunities on the lower time frames, 15 minute type thing, but you need to be very cautious about it. You can see there was a fairly interesting move. And uh, as soon as it accelerates so quickly away from your moving averages, you're looking for a quick area to take profit. And it came back and then starts getting some traction again. Anyway, I'm sitting on hands on uh, Euro USD at the moment. US dollar, Japanese yen. This is uh, chaotic, and I'm definitely staying away from this. We're back in this area of confusion. Oscillators crossed over, pointing to the downside. And if you look at the hour, you're going to see a pretty big move off uh, at the open yesterday. Uh, it's basically a delayed reaction to the news. So the news came out on Wednesday. The you know, Feds came out with their taper plan and everything else, and then everybody woke up in New York and decided, oh, it's panic stations again, and uh, basically hammered the dollar a little bit. But as you look to the left, you can see we pretty much back in this area above the moving averages, below the moving averages. Not something you want to be trading, it's sideways, so I stay away from it. Um, moving on to British pound, Japanese yen, both upside targets were hit. So there were the upside targets I gave you earlier in the week, both were hit. Uh, but if you have a look at how they were hit, this is the reason why you want to be, have you want to have take profit uh, sort of levels you know you put your put your, your your take profit orders in so that when they get hit they get taken immediately so you can see it was pretty much plain sailing not plain sailing but uh you know sort of hovering around and then all of a sudden there's massive gap up and uh straight to the second target basically and then falling off from there uh oscillators all confused at the moment back in structure uh, difficult to call this one and you know I think if you if you can maintain 151 and stay above it, then maybe a merit to come back and test these two uh, levels here again. But I think you know, I think that trade is done. We have to wait for a better structure on that. But uh, have a look look at 151 and uh, 150.76. Uh, I don't like the way the oscillators are all over the place and crossing over and pointing in different directions. That's always an indication of confusion. And typically when that happens, then we just tend to just muck around and go sideways. So uh, just uh, pay attention to this level. If you do start getting decent rejections off this level, it'll be well worth the, um, the move to the upside. Uh, lastly, Euro, British Pound. Uh, yeah, nothing really has happened yet. We're back below the 155. And you can see, keep getting above it. And then we struggle and then we get back below it. So I would suspect that we need to be looking for shorts somewhere around here. So let's just get to the hour and uh, just fine tune that a little bit better. So that's our level. Uh, we're not quite below it. Uh, we're sort of all over the place. But look at this as well. We also had this massive gap to the downside. So I would suspect another continuation to the downside, to be honest. So we are in a downward trend at the moment. You can see moving averages are pointing down. 
So what you're looking for is a rejection, but I want a rejection of 085025. Uh, uh, we're not rejecting them, we're back above it. So it's going to have to drop below it, come back and test it before I look at that for a short. But uh, it is wild at the moment, so keep your position size. It's really small if you are going to trade this. Um, otherwise, um, open up the demo account and uh, use it to uh, fine-tune and hone your, your strategy. Anyway, that's it for me. Completely confused today and more than likely just going to sit and uh, watch the markets rather than participate and uh, use it as a learning experience. Hope it helps and we will catch up with you on Monday morning. Cheers for now.